we say behind every great man is a great woman, but who tells the women's stories? March is Women's History Month, an opportunity to celebrate the accomplishments of women, both ordinary and extraordinary. The fiction books I'd like to share with you today explore the lives of real women, reanimated through ri the rigorous research and fertile imaginations of female authors. If you're like me, you had no idea that Albert Einstein was married twice, let alone that his first wife was also a physicist and may have contributed to or even co-authored his groundbreaking theories. In The Other Einstein, author Marie Benedict invites us into Maleva Merge Einstein's life, fleshing out the known facts into a relatable, fully imagined narrative. Born in Serbia to a wealthy Slavic family, she was among the first women admitted to the prestigious Zurich Polytechnic, where she met Einstein. The book reveals the roadblocks that Maleva ran into pursuing her scientific studies and career, further complicated by her roles as a mother and wife. Told from Maleva's perspective, the first-person narrative offers keen insight into the place and time in which she lived, and not only tells her story, but humanizes the man behind the legend. Marie Benedict is the pen name of local author Heather Terrell, who followed up the other Einstein with the novel Carnegie's Maid, about the little-known woman who may have inspired our Andrew Carnegie's philanthropy. The Only Woman in the Room, about bombshell actress and little-known inventor Hedy Lamarr. Lily Clementine, which tells the story of the fierce woman behind Winston Churchill, and her latest, The Mystery of Mrs. Christie about the real-life disappearance of the famous writer. In a similar vein, Nancy Horan's novel Loving Frank fictionalizes the true story of the scandalous affair that shocked Chicago society in 1909 when architect Frank Lloyd Wright and former client Mama Borthwick Cheney left their respective families for one another. Like Maleva and Albert Einstein, the two were initially drawn to each other for their minds which led to a powerful attraction that caused them to defy the norms of their time. Both suffered for their actions, being hounded by the press and repudiated by society and even their own families. Although Wright's career eventually recovered, due to a tragic event, Mema's reputation never had the opportunity to do so. Horan's story brings to life a complicated and flawed woman who gave up everything for an equally brilliant and flawed man. Her follow-up novel, Under the Wide and Starry Sky, similarly fictionalizes the real-life love story between American Fanny Osborne and Scottish author Robert Louis Stevenson. Author Rita Likes to Benedict and Horan include Melanie Benjamin, who wrote The Aviator's Wife, about Anne Morrow and Charles Lindbergh, as well as The Mistress of the Ritz, about the American woman who hosted Nazis at her Parisian hotel while supporting the French resistance, and The Swans of Fifth Avenue, about New York socialite Babe Paley and her relationship with author Truman Capote. Also, Paula McLean, who wrote The Paris Wife, about Hadley Richardson, Ernest Hemingway's first wife, Love and Rune, about Martha Gellhorn, a journalist, and Hemingway's third wife, and Circling the Sun, about early 20th century aviatress Beryl Markham. For more recommendations, stop by the reference desk. These books and more are available through Sewickley Public Library. Happy reading, everyone!